scissors on him. Hi, everybody. Oh, I forgot to move my TV, silly me. Whoa, I almost dropped the remote. Even more silly me. Okay. Hi, Laura. Hi, Patricia. So, so Laura, you're not me tonight. Are you on your phone? Mm -hmm. I was doing too. I mean, I'm still kind of, because I have to move my keyboard out of the way. And I was, I was like 30 seconds late. Mari will tell you. So, I'm just kind of waiting here to see who all pops on. Hi, Charlotte. How are you this evening? Laura's late because she had to go shopping. But that's why she's late. Got all my stuff in a box. What do you mean what happened? I don't know what happened. You tell me what happened. Good, Charlotte. Good. Oh, there you are, Laura. Okay. This is crazy stuff, guys. I might use it tonight, though. Hi, Diane. How are you? Thank well, I'm at Facebook, but go ahead. <laughs> I'll just show you guys this. This is ribbon, and they call this jelly ribbon. And I haven't decided about it yet. I heard it's going to be the, the new rage, but I don't know. We'll see. We might use that later at the end. But tonight we're going to make a wreath. And I'm using a 14-inch Dollar Tree frame. And I'm sticking. I did put a dab of dab glue on there. And apparently it's supposed to set up in five minutes. I must have got a little overzealous with the glue block dropper. But I made my own work form. These are, it's hard, it's, they look blue, but they're really dark purple pipe cleaner or Chanel stems. Or as some people call them fuzzy sticks. I had to look that up. I didn't know what a fuzzy stick was. Anyway, and I've got 12 of them on here. I put one on each crossbar and then in between each. And that, it's actually connected to the middle, but so it doesn't slip around, I tied it to the middle and to the third ring, and then I put apparently a dot, a drop of dap glue on it, and uh, yeah, now it's all over my hands. Chanel stems, I know. Pipe cleaners, Chanel pipe cleaners are the prickly ones. Chanel stems are the the soft ones. So, and we're gonna use. I've got another roll of this in case we run out. I'm gonna use this 21 inch roll of. Uh, striped Halloween type mesh. It's uh, orange, purple, and black. And then I thought, I forgot to get a few of these out. Then I thought what I'd do is I had some purple open of a uh, Dollar Tree mesh and it's six inches, five and a half to six inches wide. So what I'm going to do, I cut it eight inches long and we'll put a little ruffle on each time. Then, I call her Splat Witch. I don't know what else to call her. You see them, people put them up at Halloween on trees. Um, and then they, uh, they they have a broom with them and they look like they ran into the tree and splatted up against it. It must have got a piece of dap glue on it too. And we're gonna have to give her a little snippy here. There we go. Oh, well, maybe she was supposed to be like that. I don't know. I don't like the way she was, so we snippied her. She wasn't right. So we'll put her on there anyway. Oh, she has a little broom with her. I didn't think she did, but she does. And then 
I have out some of my Dollar Tree decorations that I had before. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this thing on the road. And I'm not going to trim this because this is the way when you do a, when I do a poof, it comes out when you cut it. So I'm just going to take and scrunch it up here and then I'll trim off some of the tail because it's a little shorter there. And I'm just going to use this just like I would, there we go, any other wreath work form. I'm just going to open my tie up. And I'm going to set this down here. And I'm going to put my little zip tie around it to secure it. And then we'll get going. By the way, I was going to try to make... Um, on the board system, the UITC, or the Unique and the Creek board system, I was going to try to make a sunflower. I just didn't get all of the mesh done in time because what I'm doing, I'm going to use poly burlap, and it frays terribly. So what I'm going to do is, um, or what I did, because I have it all cut now. I just don't have all the petals done. I won't do all the petals because I'll show you how I'm going to fold them. But what I'm going to do is, uh, what I did was I bought a plastic bag sealer. And it doesn't actually cut the mesh, but it does put a good, a good uh, melted portion where you want to cut at. So I went through and melted all the mesh because you use an entire roll. And then I went back and cut all the mesh down where it's sealed and that will help us with the fray on it so I won't because I used some before I tried to do one in red white and blue and I was just not impressed at all with the fact of the fray so I thought something's got to give here so I bought myself a plastic bag sealer I, I read that somewhere on Facebook I'm not sure whose suggestion it was it, like I said, it doesn't cut, the one I got does not cut the mesh, but it does melt it. And I actually did that on the Dollar Tree mesh because I have trouble with it, too. Okay, I'm going to turn my camera down now because I forgot to do that. And I know everybody's probably already said that 20 times, so I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I forgot who Bear is. Oh, Mama Bear. Never mind, I know. And I'm going to do 10 inch poofs. And I'm just going to measure it on my board. You know, when you have like 25, <laughs> um, 25 electronic items going at once, we get notifications all the time. But I'm making this one only 10 inch poofs, even though the ties are further away. I'm actually making this one. I had forgotten to make one for my son's door. And I always try to have him one for every season. And the one he has on now is red, white, and blue with a Uncle Sam's hat. And I'm going to tie these just once and, and I'm going to tie them down real good. Anyway, I need to make him a Halloween one. And I was like, oh, oh, I forgot. So I'm making this one for him to put on his door when we're done with the one that's up there now. That one can hang up there, though, till at least Memorial Day because it doesn't have uh, any, like, fireworks or anything. It's just basically a patriotic thing. So he can keep that up on his door. I'll keep it up on his door until probably after Memorial Day, and then I'll change it out for the house. And then I'll have to get busy because he'll have to have a Thanksgiving one. He has his, I started at Christmas time last year, so he does have, well, did I keep those? I might not have kept his because that was when I first started. So I might not have kept those because they, you know, were some of my beginning works. But I'll get him a real nice Christmas one to put out. Last year I made one for his door. Well, I made two because I was going to hang them on. He has pillars out in front of his house, and I decided to do the door and then just to the side over the light. And then um, he has two lights out on his garage, and I hung them around them. I made big pedal ones. So I don't know what I'll do this year for him. 
I also take care of his like seven foot flower box. And so I'll be changing out, if it ever gets cooler, I'll change out to fall flowers and then I will add poinsettias in there with it for the Christmas season and some gold sparkly stuff. This mesh is thin, but we're going to do the poof on the top and the bottom, and that's another reason why we're going to do the um, ruffle on each tie. Because when it's this thin and this wide spread, we might have to go around it twice. I don't know. We'll have to see what I think when we're done here. It might be okay. I really don't like seeing the frame, so it will depend on my feeling at the time. Hi, Lori. Hi, Mary. I'm trying to look. Guys, I haven't worn my glasses in a long time because Little Lamba and Big Finn ate them while they played tug of war with them. And every day, I never think to call the doctor's office, the eye doctor's office, until after they're closed. And I really need to do that. So I haven't been wearing any glasses, so my eyes are getting mad at me and not focusing when it gets later at night. So if I look like I'm squinting, I am. And of course, I don't have my iPad up right now, so I can't see comments very well. Anyway, hi, Sherry. All right, we're back at where we started, and I'm just going to put this down in this tie. I'm going to tie it off. I think I'll put two there. I use a whole pipe cleaner when I do this because it's easier for me. And if it doesn't work out with the uh, what we're doing, it doesn't look good, I'll just snip them off. But we're going to do our best here. And now I'm going to take another one of these and I'm just going to pull it up. My, this Chanel stem, I keep calling them pipe cleaners, sorry, I'm old, and that's what they were back in the day when they were prickly, because you used them on Grandpa's pipe to clean it out. So if you ever needed one, you just asked Grandpa for a pipe cleaner. We didn't use them for all the fun things back then, like we do now. But that's where I learned. what a pipe cleaner was, was from Grandpa smoking his pipe. That and Prince Albert in a can. And that was pretty funny because, you know, you'd make those calls to people and you'd say, do you have Prince Albert in a can? And they go, yes or no. And you go, well, you better let him out. We were crazy kids. The things we used to do. Of course, we didn't try to scam people out of money, so that was a good thing. We just called him like is your refrigerator running you better go catch it we did the, the odd little crazy things kids did back in the day and once again i'm not closing that pipe cleaner until we come back around i'm just kind of crossing my fingers hopefully that this whip whoops as i knocked that blue on the floor it has its little i'm hoping we make it all the way around because i really would hate to start another roll of it I'm about done with Halloween, really. About done. Unless something just comes up. I saw the cutest Halloween stuff today on Laura's live at AC Moore, and I was like, oh my god, I want a million dollars, I want to go there, I want to buy it all. Which, of course, one, I don't have a million dollars. Two, I have no way to get there. And three, I have nowhere to store my bond. So. Okay. I'm trying to. Hi, Leslie. I'm trying to catch up. conversation but and when I start I always start on the bottom and then I go back 
and then I do the top, and then we'll go back and put our ruffles. And like I said, Laura, I've got my purple jelly room. I don't know if I'm going to use it tonight or not. I might. I have not decided. We'll see. I'm not really sure because you wouldn't use it like a regular ribbon. So would you use it more like a tubing? Yeah, how how would you exactly how would you exactly do that? I don't know. I'll have to get it out and think about it, I guess. Is it, it it's just like a well, my girls are older. And I'm not really sure Melinda had too much. Jennifer's thirty four. And we used to buy um, jelly shoes for her when she was little to wear. And so it's kind of, it's thinner than those, but it's the same principle of the matter, you know. It's like plastic. So I'm not really sure. I guess you could do it with a... I guess everybody's having fun. I'm missing it. Who? Lamba? Yep. Last time, were we on, was she chewing the, the um, beads from the decorations? She's done that before. Now, if it's deco mesh, she, she, she likes deco mesh. She hoards it in her bed. She sleeps in a covered cabinet. You need to get her out of bully stick, I guess. She'd be nicer. And I just fed her. She's had her dinner. So she was wanting her dinner and I made her wait because this morning she didn't want to eat her breakfast. And Finn came down and stayed with me while Nick and his sister and Ryder went to the swimming pool. And so Finn ate the rest of her breakfast. So she wasn't very happy. I'm like, nope, you're not eating until about five. Because you got to learn to eat. Because otherwise she lets it sit there. And I give her a... It was pate. And it dries out. It's icky. So. She has dry food too. She can munch on. It's not like I starve. Trust me on that. But we have to feed her just a little bit like three times a day because otherwise she gets us up at like four in the morning and will demand food. And I don't like that. Michael's usually the one she gets up. I sometimes wake up. It's hard to wake me up. So she hasn't been able to uh, get me up to feed her at four in the morning. She slept all night last night. I was really happy. It's like having a baby. I tell you right now. Oh, look. It's just going to be enough. I'm so excited. It's a good thing, guys. It's a good day. It's a good day at, as I used to call this, the redneck manor. Anyway, we're back to the first tie on the top. So I am going to first put this in and tie it. John's door is white, so it should be okay to hang up there and it'll... It might show through a little bit the door, but I'm thinking this will work for his door. I'll put it on my door over there where I have the tighter wreath right now and check it out. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this. And I am not looking at the comments, guys. I'm sorry. I really, really can't see it. I guess I should find a place. I, I need a bigger spot. I need a bigger table if I don't have a spot in here. I should probably find a place to, to get a bigger spot so that I can use um, my iPad to see the comments. Anyway, I'm just going to take one of these zip ties here where I put the tail under there when I cut it. Go around it. Just me using my little gripper thing here. And I think they came in a set with something else, and I love them. Helps them grip so much. 
little grippers. Kind of like my little snippers. But I didn't buy the one with um, the clothes, the one that keeps me closed like Laura did. So I don't have to worry about mine opening up. All right, so we've gone all the way around it. And like I said, this is a 14 inch ring. And it is kind of see-through, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna be okay with that, I guess. And get all my ties kind of up here where I need them. Just stuck. And I thought, you know, there's purple in this. For, so just to add just a little bit, this is only This is only, give me one second. Yeah, forget it. My son just messaged me, asking me if I'm doing anything fun. And I am. Anyway, this is the Dollar Tree Mesh. And I cut it in eight inches long. It's about five and a half, six inches. I think they advertise it as six inches wide. I don't know if he said something. But I don't know if you can see the edge. I did use my... Um, bag. I have to find my mouse. I lost my mouse. And I would answer. So he would quit beeping us. Let me just answer. I also have to watch the phone. Mike's in Alaska. And um, anyway, so he may call Anyway, not to quit messaging us. That would be good. Anyway, so I melted it and then cut it just like I, I did with the other. And I will show you that process once I get more um, comfortable with it. And it's it's safer than the uh, solder iron. As you know, I'm not very good with that. So anyway, this is, it just makes a little bow and it's just going to, or a little, like a bow tie. And I'm just going to tie it in to each tie just to give it just a little extra. I didn't think I wanted a lot extra because I really like the stripe mesh. And that was just when I went out. This was just sitting there hanging out all open and calling my name. So I said, okay. I'll go ahead and use it. I use this mesh a lot when I make deco angels because I like a smaller angel. So we're just gonna ruffle these up and put them in each tie just like you would. And another reason I'm gonna use, I'll use the purple, I don't have any ribbon out, is my, my son is a bachelor and he doesn't like foo-foo things. So I don't usually put ribbon on his items. He has requested before, especially I made him a Boston Brew on Street. And he has requested that I do not put foo foo on them. He's a boy. He's a boy, mom. So, okay. Not that I didn't want to. I made him one similar to the tiger wreath I made the other night. Uh, but it has like the Boston Bruin thing in the middle. And it's, it was actually two black and one gold. And I sandwiched the gold between the blacks. So. But yeah, when I first, because when, I guess it was right before I opened my business. I, everybody, I was trying to figure out, you know, and anyway, everybody got a special read. All the guys did. I made Nick's grandpa one for the Cardinals, St. Louis Cardinals. I made Nick one for the Philadelphia Eagles when they won uh, the Super Bowl. And Michael got a heart with Cardinals on it loves cardinals. So I beat him that for Valentine's Day. So the four men in my life got little special needs. Well, I guess Bill really isn't in my life, but it's Nick's grandpa. And he's a real sweet man. So I made, and I made it on a 10 inch form because he's in a nurse. So I thought he'd take that on his fall. He actually, Nick's grandma, I, I also made him one of the hearts with the cardinals on it. That's how I knew it was a cardinal stand because she goes, could you make one for my husband because he's a cardinal stand? I said, sure. So I made a duplicate to the one with Michael's, which I'll show you in a minute. See if I can get over it. 
it's that hard for me. But anyway, so that's what I made. Those were my more up and coming reads. And then I made Sean's best friend and his wife a, a screen read for their door. And then I said, okay, that's it. I got too many reads left here, and I'm going to try to sell. And hence, a business was because it's very relaxing. This is really grief therapy. Glory, oh, glory is so right. You must not pull the ruffle too much. You love my puppy? I love Louie. Is he a Yorkie? Is Louie a Yorkie, Laura? And why are you back on your name? I'm so confused. <laughs> You guys are talking about Lamba. She's precious. She's my baby. She's sleeping now with her toy over there on the floor. I don't know what she was doing. She found out she could, finally she got big enough, she found out she could get up in my window and look outside and see people. She thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Lamba, they're talking about you. She's become my best friend because Mike's been so she hangs out, and then when she wants to have her belly pet or her back pet, she can walk and just lay right up against me. So I'm never really truly alone, guys. I always have my little Miss Lamb. But last night, usually she doesn't sleep in the bed because she has a, another bed in the bedroom that she'll go in. Just, I don't know why she likes in close spaces, but it can't have a door open. We tried the candle. I thought she was going to drop or something to us. But last night I was like, Amanda, it's time to go to bed. I'm tired. She wasn't wanting to calm down, so I put her in bed, and I'm going to put her under the covers. Okay, we finished all the bottom ones. And by golly, she laid there all night long. I was like, really surprised. So. She is my baby now. Before her, we had a little mini dogs. And I guess Chloe was my best friend too so she fell and hurt herself and I think she got a blood clot but anyway it took me a year and I did I wanted another mini doc so I was afraid if it wasn't like Chloe then I would have pulled it against her the dog so I said well I can't do that because that's not fair to the dog or to me so we went with the Zushan which is Shih Tzu and Bistron three so she has hair so she doesn't shed and she's more, what do they call it, non-allergic, whatever. People aren't allergic to her as much. And that is really good. And so, uh, uh-oh. Oh, okay. That wasn't good. But I'm always afraid when I hear the boing that it's going to be somebody telling me, like, my signal's messed up. Or you hope she won't lie. Hi, Deborah. How are you this evening? But Lamba is a year old now. She turned a year in, I think it was April 9th. And so she's a year old, so she is full grown. And she weighs about 11 pounds, and I'm very happy. Most, Some of them get up to 14, 15 pounds. She was the runt of the litter. So we actually had to wait two extra weeks to, to bring her home because she didn't weigh enough. She didn't weigh three pounds. So they kept her two extra weeks. So we were supposed to get her in June. We didn't get her till the 9th of July. And, uh, and so for a long time, we actually had steps here at the couch so she could get up on that steps by the bed in case she wanted to get up there. But now she knows how to jump. She jumped, always jumped real high. She just wouldn't do it. Now she jumps and does all kinds of fun stuff. She wouldn't go off the deck out back for a long time. Now she goes up and down at her pleasure. The only way she'd get off the deck would be if she uh, just jumped off the side or fell off the side. And now she goes up and down the steps. And Finn, which is my daughter's dog, is a lab child. And he weighs seven pounds. So, and she thinks she's as big as he is. She loves to play with him. He can like stick her whole head in his mouth. He's very gentle, but very 
and her and Ryder get along, except when Ryder keeps falling on her tail and she's supposed to hide. So. Okay, you'll be right back. Go read the book. You have two dogs. They have a cat, a couple cats upstairs too, but I'm missing a couple of, uh, so I gotta get a couple of new ceiling tiles in my drop down in the kitchen or the laundry room area. So they don't want them down here. They're afraid they'll get up there in the ceiling and then they'll come back out. So cats are not allowed down here. Although one of them used to hiss and slap at me. They were feral. The the one, the yellow one, is a, was a feral farm cat, and um, she's just mean. I call her Damien. They call her Sugar. I call her Damien. Because you just walk, I wouldn't even know she was there, and I walk past, and she just hiss and swat me and scratch me all up. And then, uh, then they were over at PetSmart, and they were having. The, Humane Society Adoption Day, and they came home with this cat that looks like a cat that Lambo was actually raised with. They called it Bear, Man, and Kitty. But this one is, is a boy, so they named him Bo. So, Lambo loves Bo, but Bo's not sure about Lambo. And if you just heard that scream, that is screaming Mimi upstairs. That's my grandson. He's 20 months old. Alright, I think we've got. That just puts a little bit more pop of color in there, makes it a little bit more purple. Now, I'm trying to decide, do I want to try this? I didn't even cut it because I'm just not sure. Let's see. We'll just try it at 12 inches. I'm using my Betty Crocker Dollar Tree scissors. How would I even? I don't know, guys. What do you think? How would you put this on? Yes, please. I'm not going to say the word because I've been watching people on lives. So I'm just going to say spread the love. Please spread the love. Or show your love. Show them. Why did I say spread your love? Spread the love. That's the new thing that I've been hearing. You know, I just don't even think I like that color with it. It just doesn't look right to me. I guess Lori's going to have to help me out here. I'm going to have to watch her put some of this on. So I'm just not sure I'm excited about it. All right. And since this is a smaller one tonight, not a, a big form, I'm just going to wing it. Because I just didn't move the other wreath all so often, the, the rose over there. I do have another rose about ready to go. I know I can't show you. I'm, I'm asking again if I can show it yet on, on the line. By the way, I, I did get these at Craft Outlet. And we're going to figure out. This it wasn't sewn together, the same wasn't sewn together, right? So. If you lift up her cape and her head, you can see she flips. You can see she's got this. So I'm going to try to use that to my advantage. Quite sure how just yet, but that's how I'm going to try to attach her. And I'm actually going to try to attach her completely to me. I know that's something new. I don't remember the cape. I think we're going to try to get this. Stuff around her legs. Since I'm not going to use that jelly ribbon, I'm 
take the rest of the time and make sure everything's tight. Just a little plastic thing. So. Alright. So there, there she is. I'm gonna, I am going to secure her up here. She's got, she's got a little hang on me. So maybe. And that be pretty because she's already splatted, right? Okay. Ooh, she kind of flops in the wind. That's kind of cool. Doing more sheep test. She doesn't fall off, that's for sure. All right. So now we have her on. Now let's see what kind of damage we can do with these. I love little berries. I don't know what to do. I have a habit of doing that sometimes, but I'm sorry. I will get back to that to write a letter back. We'll try not to be as hard on These haven't even come out yet that I saw at uh, Dollar Tree yet. These are from, well, Marissa must have got them last year. When we, and I'm just going to curl the edge like that. And I'm going to stick it under here by my tie where I want it. And hook it around, put that hook around the frame, and then I'm just going to close. Um, I want to say zip tying on this one. Chanel stint around it. Let's put it in there. And then I won't have to worry about glue. Anything like that. Then I pick up the one that's broke that I broke. Oh, wow. So I hope everybody had a good day today. It's kind of cloudy here, but it, I don't think it's raining. Like I said, Nick, his sister, and Ryder went out to the pool for a few hours today. And uh, Mom Linda was at work. And then uh, it was clouding up, but I haven't really seen any rain. So it is hot. I think it was 86. I think the last time I looked, it was 87 out there. I don't know. I haven't been out. I don't drive because I don't drive our truck. So I have not been out of the house. Well, I mean, I've been out the yard. But I haven't been away from the house since Thursday. So somebody's going to have to come and take me away one of these days. My son and my daughter take me out and go to a store or something. Because it's kind of kind of getting the cabin fever. I think can be on the fourth point. It's four points. These are the assorted picks, by the way, the ones that I was that I have on the on the list. Okay, I can't do it with just the with just the three, it doesn't look right to me. It's unbalanced. It seems like the older I get, the more kind of OCD I get. <laughs> Everything has to be in its place. Everything, you know. I'm not totally like my son kind of does some weird stuff. Like he always locks his car like four times. He has to hear it. He he thinks his car is not locked. So. We always, we always laugh at it. Like, Sean, it's deep enough here. Yeah. Mm 
Happy likes this. I'd be really upset. Like, oh, Aw, Sally. Like what your mommy does, or at least pretend. And I can always make another one if um, anybody likes this one. I can always make another one. I do have some of this. I think I have another black witch. Maybe they're fresh delicious. I really, I really don't know. Oh, I got two more. And then I thought she might look cool if she had some of these things on it. I don't like this. This is kind of quiet. Okay, thank you, Patricia. I should I should look at the comments, shouldn't I? Who did I see the other night? Somebody was live the other night, and they actually had somebody watching their comments, and they were like on the phone or FaceTiming them, and had them saying their comments too. I'm like, oh, that's unique. I like that. And then that way they really didn't have to. Up too much because once you get going, it's really difficult to to look up and figure out what's happening. I'm gonna turn around. Handles coming off my thing again. I need Michael home to fix it. I fixed it the last time. Last time was fine. I don't know what they're cooking upstairs. It's starting to smell pretty good. They're bothering me now. That's all I can think to call her. I don't know even, I don't even remember how cracked out that advertised her. I just saw it, I, I thought it was so cute. You know, because I've seen people put them on their trees and stuff outside of how big ones. So I thought, that is so cute. So I have to have a splat witch. I'm into sparkly. I really am. I love sparkly stuff. So we've got to put a little sparkly in here. Give her a little clouds. Make her shine. I don't like that there. I have to set it up like this, guys. You can look at it. sticking these under the mesh and I'm just going to go on the back side and turn her over once I get them kind of where I want and I'm going to um, just choose a now I wanted to call it a paper clip oh my goodness um, a Chanel stem ah I was like who's dinging now that thing my computer has dinged so much in the last three days One day I turned it all off and just walked away. It's like, that's it, I'm done. I cannot do this anymore. It's too dinging. Because my computer goes off, then my iPad goes off, then my phone goes off. So I'm like, oh no. Look 
at this. Look at this, Laura. You're so going to be so proud. When I finish this live, this wreath's going to be done. I don't have to go back and glue anything. I don't have to go back and put the sign on correctly. Nothing. Can you believe that? It's a first. You should be proud of me. Why are we all going to Lori's? I want to go. I want to go too. Please. Leave me out. Don't leave the old one out because she's not watching the comments. Ah, to go shopping? Now, if you guys are going shopping, you better not leave me out because I don't have nothing here. This, well, I've got the old time pottery, but i got to travel like three hours to get there. So. Hey, Dawn, how are you? Did you get all your good stuff shown at Hot from Hobby Lobby? You know, I got, I probably didn't get as good a deal, but I, I got some on sale there, too. Um, but it's been about a month or two. Not two, month. They so made them, let me think, when did we go to the farmer's market? So I made them, like, in June. The end of, so probably the second week of June, I got a whole bunch of tins and stuff and baskets. And they were 75% off here. So. I guess. All right. I don't have to Is Judy on there tonight? Have you seen her, Laura? Jean can see her chat the comment. Who? What? I knew you would be, Laura. I knew you would because that's not something I do often. I know it's a little wreath, but he doesn't. Hang on. See? Nothing fell off and I didn't even use glue. Well, this one ball. Let me put it up here. I think we're done, guys. This is what I'm doing. Just a cute little... I'm going to hold it up over the rose because the rose kind of... Like I said, the witch came from Craft Outlet. This the 21-inch mesh I got from... When I got all the stuff from Marissa, and it doesn't even it doesn't even have labels on it, because I have another roll of it, so I have no clue where that came from. The purple mesh came from Dollar Tree. The the Chanel stems came from Dollar Tree, and all of the uh, berries. I'm gonna call them beads. I don't know why. And this sparkly stuff that all came from Dollar Tree. So, and that will hang. And I wanted to make it like this because I don't know if this messes up. Something got crushed. See how thin it is? I'm thinking maybe I can do it this way. She's about maybe four inches wide so she will fit between his front door because he has a screen so she will fit in there because I'm pretty sure the red white and blue one that I just put the Uncle Sam's hat that I have on there now is a little thicker than this one but I try to keep it um, actually the bigger wreaths do actually fit in there people don't believe me but they do because I, I Trust me, I've tested them. Some of them get a little smushed, but they will pop back out if you want to fluff them. But Sean never really goes, they go through the garage, they don't go through the front door. So it's not really bothered either. So, but there she is. Can you see her? Okay. And that's what I'm going to take over to his house and put on his door. Because last year, he, it was funny, because he used to not hand out candy and stuff. I don't know what I'm hitting, but I keep hitting something that keeps making the thing go 
or something come up on my screen. But anyway, last year I was really surprised because we uh, decided to take Ryder over to his house to trick or treat. And um, he's never handed out candy or anything before. And we had um, some dressing up. I think Ryder might have been dressed up like Winnie the Pooh last year. Maybe Winnie the Pooh was the year before when he was itty bitty. Maybe last year was Scooby. I, I can't remember. But anyway, um, we took him over there, and Sean actually had bought a bunch of candy, and he was handing candy out to all the kids. And that was just very, very odd to me. So Design with Scott is live right now. I guess. That just came up on my screen. And there it goes again. I must be hitting it with my elbow. I can't. I have a, some missing feeling in this elbow. So, but there, there she is in her glory. She's um, not counting these. To count those, she's really wide. But mesh wise, she's about 19 inches wide. You, you know, if you want to put her in her full form, but these would bend if you take them out because they're not glued in, so they come out easily. I like things that do that. So, um, I made the uh, centerpiece at uh, for Patriotic, and I made them so that you didn't have to keep all the decorations in them or just put what decorations you wanted on them so they could stand up for your centerpiece. Or you could take them out and put the wreath on the wall and then put them in. So, you know, I'm going to turn the camera back up this way. Hey, that went really fast tonight. I'm impressed. And it's all completely done. That's even better. But I'll kind of show you. Friday night, what I'm hoping to do is to take these leaves on the outside and these petals on the inside, and I'm hoping to create a yellow sunflower on the board system from Unique in the Creek. This is a new type of fold. I just saw a lady do it. Um, on a live, I think her name was Trish. I don't know what her last name was. It began with a D and it was long like Destopano or something. Um, and I'm trying to think, because the live is over on, or the tutorial's over on YouTube. Michael Dean, just like, anyway, um, if you wanna see how they're done, you can, always message me and I'll find that link because right now I can't think of her name. It's under, because her name's Trisha, but it's under like Michael Dean or Design Michael or I can't remember. Or it could just be I have Michael on my mind. I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping to get a, and I'm, if you can see, I don't know if you guys can tell. This is where I melted. Melted the burlap so that it wouldn't fray as bad. I'm sure there will still be fray, but I have um, a couple of the these ready because normally on the U UITC, when you do them, you do them like this in your pipe cleaner because you use pipe cleaners, it'll go through here and attach to your board. But I, um, so you would do green leaves and yellow leaves, but I saw this fold and I'm like, I like that. I really do. So. I'm going to have that prepared for Friday night to show you live on YouTube. We'll, we'll be over on YouTube Friday night, 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern, and 4.30 Pacific. Is that right? Or is it 3.30 Pacific? No, 4.30. And just so you know, I'll show you this color. This will be the color... It's a little deeper red than the one over there. Um, so this is, I think this one's called burgundy, and I'm going to make a rose. I'll be making a rose out of that. But as soon as uh, the lady from Unique in the Creek tells me I can, I will show them to you online. But, you know, it's her thing, and she's asked that we not do that, so I won't do it. I won't do it until I get permission. I actually got a review that actually cut me down because I wouldn't show it, and I'm like, I can't. That's her rule, and I respect that, you know. So, if that's what she says, I'm sorry. I can't, I can't go against it. It's just not right. It's ethically un unethical for me to do that. So, 
tell you, I should quit cleaning up my board, huh? So, but anyway. Do you like that? It's kind of quick and simple, and like I said, it's just for Sean's front door. Although, I don't know. I would hang it on mine. Maybe I haven't made one for mine. We might have to do one more. I don't know. I also have a big order out for uh, black and gold and red and white mesh because I'm out of those things. And I've got two more tiger reeds to make. I'm waiting on one sign. And then I'm going to um, make a Kansas City cheap. And I'm, I was thinking red and white. And then the more I thought about it, I might have to do red and yellow or red and gold. Because red and yellow, I'm thinking, is what they have on their jackets. I can't remember. My dad had one a long time ago. Actually, tw oh, over 20 years ago. And I'm trying to remember if they used red and yellow or red and white. So I'll have to go research that before. Um, but we will be back Friday night at 6.30 Central, 7.30 Eastern on YouTube. Um, Laura, did you put the YouTube? She did. So if you haven't yet, go on over. You can go on over and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I figured out how I don't know. But I think if you click on the bell, there's a bell up by where it says subscribe, the big subscribe button. And then it has little things that come out like this after you click it. It will send you notifications from people on YouTube. Like, or it'll let you know when they go live. It'll shoot you a little mess. Mine comes up on, on this computer on the corner on my new desktop. So that's, I believe, how you get notifications from YouTube. But I usually send out a message just like I did tonight before the live telling you I'll be on YouTube and the link will be, there will be a button to hit on there. <laughs> there will be a button to hit on there for you to, to go over there if you want to watch it there. And then I have also what I do is I share my videos back and forth. So you can usually find them on either place. Like I, I will go ahead and download this one later tonight and try to get it uploaded over on YouTube so that it's ready to go tomorrow. And you can watch if you want to watch the replay there or rewatch it. You can watch it there. Some people just watch replays, and that's great. I think that's fantastic. If you can't make it to a live, hey, a replay is great. And then you can stop it and start it as you want. You can work along with the person. I do that. That's, that's the best way, I think, sometimes. I like to watch the live, and then I go back, and I have that live up or that tutorial up all the time because I'm going to forget what I thought I knew. And so I go back and refer to it. I do that with every bow I make on the Pro Bow. I have to have the slow Pro Bow tutorial up online so I can remember what she said to do. So I'm so worried. It takes me forever. One day I'm going to do a bow online. I'll do a bow on here or a bow on uh, YouTube. But I just haven't got my confidence up enough yet that they look good enough. The Terry bow is actually not as bad. I was scared of it because it said use six ribbons. And I went, uh-oh, that's a lot of ribbon, uh-uh. And it's actually easier to do than the three ribbon altogether, I think, once I got started. And they're very beautiful bows. So, and I heard another one, another named bow, but I did never see it. So sometimes when I click, I click it around, and then I come back and can't find it. But anyway, does anybody have any questions, I guess? Because I just think of this as making wreaths with you. I don't know. I, I'm just at that point. Thank you, Laura. You're the best. You all are the best. Thank you for coming and joining us tonight. We appreciate it. And if you hang around, well, not here, but in a half hour, well, she may start sooner than that since I'm done. Keep your eye out for hardworking mom. Lori's going to be live a little bit later making a Scarecrow, I think. And uh, she makes wonderful wreaths. She's my mentor and who I learned from. So jump on and watch her and watch her make another beautiful wreath. And you'll just be, and then tomorrow night, Laura Jean's Wreath Rooms. My friend Laura will be on live at 6.30 on Facebook tomorrow night. I am not sure what she's doing. Uh, I don't remember. Laura, what are you going to do tonight? Do you know? Yes, I am going to go. I'm going to the Crafters Convention. And I believe Laura's going to the Crafters Convention and Lori's going to the Crafters Convention. So, yes, we are. We're all headed to 
Collinsville, Illinois in October. I can't wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to meet everybody and see what happens and goes on. I didn't get in time. I just started when Wreath Makers Live, I guess they'd already sold out all the tickets when I just got into it. So I had no chance to go down to Dallas. But, uh, ah, well, and so I don't know. But yeah, I'm going and I'm excited, excited, excited. I'm probably, I don't know, I don't know where you're at, Mindy, but um, I'm in Omaha. I probably have the, the least amount of driving to do. I thought I had seven hours, and to tell you the truth, guys, I don't think I even have that much. Uh, it's well, it's about two and a half now to Kansas City, and I, the, so I was figuring two and a half to Kansas City, and then um, five hours across to St. Louis from Kansas City. But the way they're talking, it's only supposed to be like three hours, and that's probably because you know, being older, I traveled across it when it was fifty-five miles an hour, and now that it's seventy-five miles an hour. Um, I was talking to a friend last night. So that's, you know, quite a bit of difference in speed. And so I guess you get there a lot quicker. But we're going to stop anyway. My friend lives in Columbia, which is halfway across Missouri. So we're just going to travel down to Columbia the first day. And then I'm going to visit with her. And then we're going to go on over. It's, I know she told me it's only an hour and a half to Kansas City from there. So if it's only an hour and a half from Kansas City to Columbia, it's only an hour and a half from Columbia to St. Louis because it's right in the middle. And because uh, that's where the University of Missouri is. So I'm going to stop there and, and visit with her for a little bit. And then we'll just get up and then we'll be there. Well, we won't even have to get up early. We can check out at the latest time possible because we probably can't get into our room until three. So, you know, but we'll be there bright and early on Thursday because I'm going to I'm gonna do as much as I can do and take in as much as I can take and absorb it all and just have a great time and meet all my friends. And I'm, I'm so excited. So it'll be great. We'll meet you there. Are you going, Mindy? You're going, right? I don't know where Yukon, Oklahoma is. I know where Oklahoma is. Ah, Christmas tomorrow, Laura. Okay. So excited I am. I am. I am. Night, Patricia. So we'll see you there. We'll meet you there. Make sure you look us up. My my thing is that sometimes I don't see people do their lives or I don't I don't associate them with their their names, their uh, shop names if they're different. Like my name doesn't go anywhere with my shop. Well it does because it has C and R in it, but that's it. Uh, so sometimes I don't know what people look like, even though they'll know what I look like. Do you have the longest drive, Laura? I bet you do. I'm surprised Mike didn't tell me that we had to go on out to Boston by you. Well, you're not, you're farther north than Boston, but I'm surprised he didn't say we had to go out there when we came to St. Louis. But we have to come back because we got to watch right here. So but I'm taking my time. How long's your drive, Lori? Thirteen hours. How long is yours, Lori? Southwest. Ah. See, my daughter lives in Garden City. Well, by Garden City, Scott City, and that's right down by the Oklahoma border and the Panhandle. It's the only place I know of. It's the only place I know of you can leave for the day and take a day trip, drive. Go to Oklahoma, go to Texas, go to Oklahoma, go to Kansas again, all in one day. Because it's, there's not, it's not very much, because we came back through there when she was interviewing for jobs for, to be a teacher from Houston. And I swear, we drove forever through the state of Texas. I thought it was never going to stop. And then we hit Oklahoma, and I'm like, oh, thank God, Oklahoma. And then, oh, we're in Kansas. I'm like, oh, okay. Ah. Yeah, you guys are kind of, I, you know, he's kind of right in the middle, so. Do you have a heavy foot, Laura? But 
But yeah, so those are my experiences. That's what we used to, we'd go down and visit her and for fun, we'd just drive from Kansas to Oklahoma to Texas to Oklahoma to Kansas just because we could. She's down, I guess she must be down by, I can't remember where they said Dorothy lived in Kansas from the Wizard of Oz. I'm trying to remember. But it must be really popular there because all the gas stations, the convenience stores that you stop in for their souvenirs, they have Dorothy dolls. I, I, cause I bought them for my nieces and brought them back. Cause I'm like, look guys, there's their Dorothy dolls. And they were looking at me like, you're weird. And I'm like, well, they were little. Not the dolls, the kids. Anyway, I'm gonna go cause Lori needs to go get ready for her live and I need to finish up mine. And if, that way you guys can like refill your popcorn and your drink or whatever else. And um, I'm gonna put this up and get ready so I can watch her live. And I'll see everybody over on Hardworking Mom when she goes live. Oh, you know what, though? If I can't find my mouse, I can't leave. That's not good. That's not cool, guys. What am I going to do? Well, isn't that special? Well, you guys, I'm going to go as soon as I find my mouse or a way to turn the, the live off. I can't believe I did that. I, I don't know what it's doing. It's Anyway, I'm going to go as soon as I find a way to go. So you guys can go ahead and go and not worry about me because I'm going to, like, look for stuff. Oh, guess what? Ha <laughs> ha, I found it. All right. Now I'm really going to go. I'm taking my, I'm taking my husband to the convention because I have to have a driver. But he's cool. You guys will like him. He's quiet. He won't say anything. And, and he likes to participate in shopping. So whatever we do, he'll either, or he'll go back to the room and sleep. So I'm not worried about it. Anyway, good night, everybody. Have a great one. See you over at Hardworking Mom. And like I said, Laura Jean's wreath room will be on tomorrow night. So we'll see you all then. Have a great one.